Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are five students. They participated in five events uh, during their college fest. And each event has a different prize money for those who secured the first three positions in a particular event. So this is the prize money for the first, second and third positions. And it is given that only these five students backed all the winning positions. So uh, these first, second, third are amongst these five people, A, B, C, D, E. Then some more information is given along with the table. So table gives the prize money for all the events and some information is given that all the students secured a different position in each event. So uh, no two people are the, like it cannot be A and A, right? So that is self understood, but given here. And none of the students secured the same position in more than one event. So suppose this person A has come first in this event. Now A cannot be first in any other event. A has to be second in another event or third in another event. Okay. Ambrose won a total of $210 and Earl won a total of $50. Cooper won less than $80 and the total winning amount of Brooke was the highest. So this is the information given to us. And using this, we need to find how much each of these won and answer the questions and the positions of these people. Now, Ambrose won a total of $210, which is a bit high amount. Okay. And if you see, let's say Ambrose wins uh, $150 here. So we have to make it a high number that is 210. So we assume that he wins $150 here. So he has to win 60 more. Okay. 60 can be made by 40 plus 20. But we see that this is the same rank, okay, same uh, two ranks in the same event. So that is not possible. So uh, another way to get 60 is that is the only way to get uh, 60 out of these two second and third positions. So that means Ambrose did not win uh, this 150, right? Now he has one less than 100 here. Now if he has to make 210, which is a big number, he should ideally have 100. So let us first try to reject this case that he does not win 100 here. Suppose he does not win 100 here. So he has to win a large amount that is 210. And suppose he wins 60 here. He is still to make 150. Okay. And if we see the maximum here, 50, 100, uh, 210 is not reachable. Right. So he cannot reach 210. So he has to win this $100 here. Okay. Then only he can make 210. Now 100 is done here, he needs 110 more, 110 is needed. Now uh, the possibility is 90, 20, okay. One possibility is 90, 20. Another possibility is 80, 30, okay. And anything else that we can think of? So uh, 90, 20 or 80, 30. And 50 is no, not matching with anything, 10 is not matching with any of these things okay so this is a and a could be like we will take two cases let's say this is a 90 20 or it is another case a with 80 or 30 okay so this is what we can get for a. now earl won a total of 50 okay so earl if he has to win 50 if we give this 30 to A, E, right? If we give him 30 here, then the only possibility is 20 more. So 5 does not make it 20. If Earl wins 20 here, we cannot have Earl here. Now, see this condition that each event has, like none of the students secured the same position in more than one event. So that means, and all only these people won it. So it should contain all these five people, A, B, C, D, E, in any particular order. So this means that 30, 20 is not possible, right? We cannot give 30, 20. So the next step that we can think of is 30 and 5, 35 does not make 50 and higher values cannot make 50, okay? So that means Earl cannot win 30 here. If Earl does not win 30 here, Earl has to win 10 in this event, okay? If Earl, Earl wins 10, he has to win 40 more. And the only possibility that we can think of is 20 and 20. So that means this case gets eliminated where we said that A can win 90 and 20. So this means this is Earl with 20 and 20. So we've got Earl also and we've got Ambrose also. Okay. So A 
B, C, D, E. I'm writing the total amounts because uh, a couple of questions are on these as well. So Earl is 210. Uh, Ambrose is 210. Earl is 50. Right. So these two are done. Now next comes that Cooper won less than 80. Okay. Now Cooper is winning less than 80. So Cooper cannot be 90. Cooper cannot be 150. So Cooper has to be 30 here. Right. Now Cooper is 30 here. That means, and also given that Brooke was the highest winner. So if we give, suppose we give Brooke here. So what will happen is Brooke cannot reach more than 210. B has to be greater than 210. Okay. Now B cannot make greater than 210 if given 90 here. So Brooke will be 150 and this will be Dane. Right. So we have found out these values. Now we will have to figure out that how can we make uh, C less than 80 and uh, put B as the highest one. Okay. Now C is less than 80. So C has 130 here. So C cannot be 60 here. Okay. Uh, then we can have now if uh, C cannot be 60, Brooke is the highest. So suppose Brooke is not also 60, right? C is definitely not 60. So we have B, C, D. Okay. So we are saying that uh, C is not 60 because C is total is less than 80, right? Now we have to make Brooke the highest. Suppose Brooke is not getting 60 here, right? So Brooke can, can has to get 40 here and 50 here. Then only Brooke can cross 210. But we cannot have the same winner here. So we cannot have Brooke 50 here, right? Brooke is not 50 here. So if Brooke does not reach 50 here, Brooke cannot be the highest. Okay. So this means this has to be Brooke. Okay. So this is Brooke. Now Brooke has made 210. Now Brooke can have any winning, right? That does not impact others. So Brooke is sorted. That Brooke will get greater than 200. We have to make Cooper less than 80. Okay. So uh, now Cooper cannot get 50 here because like that will make him 80 and one value will make it more than 80. Okay. So Cooper cannot be 10 here because Cooper is same person. So this has to be Cooper. Okay. Now Cooper is here. Cooper cannot come here. Cooper will be here. So Cooper makes a total of 30, 40, 70 and 70. Right now we are left with uh, these three values. So this is this will be D. That is Dane. Okay. Now we have uh, B and D to be filled. So this is B because group cannot be here, and this is D. So now we can total the all the values. So B is 150, 210 plus 10. That is 220. And if you look at D, D gets 90 here. And 5 here, 95 plus 50, that is 145 dollars. So these are the winnings of these five people. Okay, now we can answer the questions based on this set. Who secured the third position in PUBG? So in PUBG, the third position is secured by Dale. Amount won by Dale. Amount won by Dale is 145 dollars. What is the difference between the amounts won by the persons who won the highest and the least amount? Highest is 220. Least is 50. So the difference is 170. What was Cooper's rank in Minecraft? So we can see that Cooper was the third person, third rank in Minecraft. If one of the events were cancelled and no prizes were awarded for it, the winning of Dane would have been double that of Cooper. Which event is it? Now this is simple to check. Like either you can check by options. Or you can see that C is a multiple of like C is getting 71, right? Now double banana ke liye, like uh, in other cases, C will get a multiple of 10 and D should also get a multiple of 10. So if we remove Minecraft, okay, so C will be 70 and D will be minus 5 that is 140. So this is double, D is double. So that means the event cancelled will be Minecraft. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.